Hey, this is Matt Blackburn and you're watching Divine Superconductor TV. Today I'm talking about infrared saunas. For years I was using a Zip Up one by Therasage. To me that's the best brand that I've found. Also the Relax Far Infrared Sauna is really great. Uh, basically you just want to look for a Zip Up infrared sauna that isn't made in China because those ones, uh, especially the silver looking one, has electromagnetic fields, non-native, that are just off the charts crazy. So if you're going to go for a zip-up one, definitely go for a Therasage or the Relax Sauna. You could sometimes find those used. That's what I found the Therasage for and that's the one that I used for years. You might see it in my previous YouTube videos. I recently purchased this one, which was an amazing investment. And this is the Golden Design Sauna. This sauna is unbelievable for the price and the value. It's low EMF, it's hemlock wood, which is definitely an indoor wood. Here's the thing with saunas. A lot of the companies, like the really expensive saunas, they're multiple thousands of dollars. They'll say, oh, the glue's better. The glue has less toxins in it. The wood is better. The wood's higher quality, it doesn't off gas. There's less off gassing and there's less EMFs. Let's talk about that for a second. The non-native EMF issue is very real and you don't want to sit in a sauna where you're going to cook in a bad way while you're sweating with non-native electromagnetic fields. These are magnetic fields above 3 milligauss that harm our cells because they're not in resonance. And you always hear talk in the alternative community about EMFs. It's not really scientific how they talk about it. I'll say, you know, use whatever scalar pendant or organite or you could protect your DNA with sacred geometry or whatever. Well, let's talk practically about EMFs. EMFs cause calcium ion channels to open in the cells. And when calcium floods into the cell, those respiratory proteins actually stretch out and they get further apart. And the further apart they get, the further electrons have to travel across and basically that means less energy efficiency. They have to travel further to create ATP and that's where you get diseases and tumors and things like that because your body doesn't have enough energy to fight off mold and fungus and parasites and all these microbes. And your cells are actually generating charge and a strong voltage because you have DHA in your cell membranes because you're grounding and because you're nude sunbathing and because you're getting sunlight in your naked eyes every morning and your melatonin's on point and you're blocking artificial light at night and you're doing the emotional work and you're forgiving people and you're being nice to people and you're just working on yourself that's when your cells actually generate minus 70 to minus 100 millivolts that's where you get health, that's where you get vitality, that's where you get vibrance, creativity, intelligence, you're bright, you actually are able to absorb photons, store them, hold an electric charge, all that stuff happens. So, all right, so here's the sauna. It goes up to about 140 Fahrenheit. That's what I set it on, and it takes about 15, 20 minutes to warm up, which isn't an issue, you just pre-plan it. And I set two towels down. So here's where it's gonna get real. This meter is not good, and it's way overrated. It is not accurate. Do not rely on a tri-fueled meter. It's an average of the readings. Go for digital. Anyway, just for giggles, here's the battery test. And okay, we got a full battery. Now we're gonna go to magnetic. Zero to three range. And now let's check out this sauna. Let's put this right on the panels. So it's a cheap sauna, right? So it's going to have high EMF or not. Pretty much nothing right on the panel. Maybe, yeah, it's going up to one. Here's a reading that's the highest, and that's literally right on the panel. That's right below three. But remember that your body's going to be here. The EMF drops off exponentially at the distance, so... Here we go, you're going to be sitting right here, even if someone's right here, that's pretty low. Going up here, below three. 
And now for the more accurate meter. This is a TM191. 10 Mars digital is always more accurate than the needle because that's an average of readings. This is exact second to second. So here we're going to put it on the shortest range, but right up to the panel. All right, yeah, here we go. We're getting exact readings. Let's go over to this panel. Okay, over this panel. We're right on the panel, too. Wow. Super low. Okay, so even though the sauna is really affordable, the EMFs are pretty much non-existent. So there's that issue, because I've had people call me out. Hey, tell Matt about the EMFs on that, that cheaper sauna. They're off the charts. Well, I just showed you that they're not. Low EMF, affordable sauna that doesn't cost $4,000. Wow, awesome. Next issue, off-gassing from the hemlock wood and the glue that's used, the adhesive to glue everything together that might be off-gassing and I'm gonna breathe in. Okay, so I have an option. I could worry about that and spend an extra $3,000 to mitigate that problem. Or I could spend $10 and get a activated charcoal pack. Throw this in there, Sagano is on Amazon, $10. Problem solved. <laughs> wow, I just saved $3,000. Isn't that amazing? An activated charcoal pack. I don't have to worry about the synthetic VOCs because activated charcoal absorbs synthetic VOCs. So now we're looking at a great value. If there is a possibility of glue or any off-gassing, I don't have to worry about that because the charcoal is going to soak it up. And if you want, put two in there, put four in there, put one in each corner, it doesn't matter. The surface area of the charcoal is ridiculous, and that is a strong affinity to these positive ions that are created from plastics, off-gassing, different things. It's a negatively charged material that's an insane, like tennis court per centimeter, something like that. So this sauna is just incredible for the price. It's about $1,300, whereas your average sauna is about $4,000 which is ridiculous. And they'll tell you, oh, the heaters have an amazing new technology. Oh, you know, there's this and that feature. Look, you want to sweat in this thing? You don't need like a DVD player, although this comes with the stereo with two speakers. And it actually comes with color therapy. So you can actually, with this remote, you could change the lights and I do not recommend using blue ever. Normally I use red, especially if it's later in the day, or I'll use green if it's during the day. That's around 555 nanometers, and green light actually builds collagen. But most of the time I like red light in here, because red light is one of the best frequencies for us. Look up the studies on red light and what it does to skin cancer, what it does to tumors what it does to our cells and has a charging effect. As far as infrared light, that's a whole nother argument. What's better, near infrared, mid infrared, far infrared? You want all of them at the same time. There's so much, right? So much to research. Well, my personal experience is that I used the zip up sauna, the Therisage, and that was far infrared heat. And I experienced for, I used that for like two years before I sold it. I was river sweating very fast, like within 15 minutes, like, like river sweat. And then you guys saw my previous video, or if you didn't go back and look at that, where I built my own sauna with PVC pipe and covered it with painter's canvas. And I got four 250 watt, like chicken brooding heat lamps from the hardware store, like those big orange bulbs. That's mainly near infrared, and that's Dr. Wilson's work. You'll hear me, Divine Superconductor, speaking for MitoLife or Divine Superconductor. I have my own protocols, my own ideas. You'll listen to this doctor, you'll listen to that doctor, that guru, that guru. And everyone has their own like belief system, right? And the key is getting to a place where you don't have 
really a belief system, but you have experiential wisdom. You actually don't just think you know, you know from your experience what works. And what I know from my experience is that near infrared has more of a charging effect, like char literally charging a battery. When I set up that sauna, I was in that thing for three, four, sometimes even five or six hours a day. I was addicted to that feeling. I literally felt my body getting charged up, just like a Duracell battery. And that was mostly near infrared with some mid and far with those, those lights. And that's something anyone could do that's super affordable. And that's if you're worried about UV causing damage, you, you can't get into the sun, you're in a place where there's not a lot of sun, you know, seasonal affective disorder, winter, short light cycles, whatever you have going on, light therapy is amazing for the body. And there's different effects with different frequencies. So with this one here, we're talking about far infrared, we're talking about sweating. When I think about near infrared and mid infrared, I'm thinking about charging up the body. And same thing with visible red, red light, because infrared is invisible red, and we have visible red and invisible red. So it's all red, just one we can see and one we can't. We can't see infrared because we emit infrared. So it'd be it'd probably throw us off if we were walking around and we were seeing each other glowing. I mean, you can see that to some degree, but it's not, it's not usually blinding unless you become a mitolifer. So the whole purpose with this sauna is to sweat. And it emits far infrared waves, which are at the latter part of the electromagnetic spectrum. So you have visible light that's 400 to 700 nanometers. And then you have near infrared, which is like seven to 800 nanometers. And then you have mid infrared, and then you have far infrared, which is really long wavelength. Because there, it's such a long wavelength, it actually penetrates deeper. This is something that took me a while to understand because you'll hear, and I even perpetuated it for a while by mistake, you'll hear near infrared penetrates three inches while far infrared only penetrates half that, an inch and a half. Well, if that's true, then why does blue light and UV light, which are shorter wavelength, like shorter waves, why do those only penetrate a little bit, like 0.1 millimeter? The shorter the wavelength, the less it penetrates, and that's by design, by nature, and by whatever, whoever, whatever created us, it was designed that way. Because different cells in different layers of our tissue benefit from different colors of light. So blue light is for killing acne on the skin. Ultraviolet causes vasodilation. So it makes blood cells rise to the surface. And the hemoglobin and the porphyrins actually grab the light and they drive it around and they deliver it throughout the body. If we think about infrared, invisible red light, that penetrates really deep. And you know this when it's a hot summer day and the infrared heat is penetrating your walls and it's heating you up unless you have the AC on. A uh, more simple explanation, you're in a tent and you're camping, you're at a festival or you're just camping and you feel the infrared heating up your tent. It's because the waves are actually passing right through the tent walls and it's heating up your tent like an oven. That's because infrared waves, specific parts of it, can actually penetrate clothing. To my knowledge, near and mid infrared cannot penetrate clothing, but far can. From my research, that's what I have come to understand. So anyway, this is the Golden Design Sauna. I'm going to put a link below for you guys to check it out. One last thing, you have to drink a lot of fluids when you go in here. I don't really prehydrate because I'm always hydrating, but if you don't drink a lot of water, then just drink extra water when you come in here. I usually stay in for at least one hour. I'm gonna go in right now after this video. 
and I bring in at least this much liquid. These are 32 ounce wide mouth mason jars, essential tools for health. These are your new drinking bottles when you're home. When you go out, I don't recommend them because they leak. I would get the regular mouth ones because the, the liquid will actually leak if these spill around unless you have them in a cooler. These are my usual elixirs. This is turmeric powder, ginger root powder, and two squeezed lemons, and then Omic Organic Cell Balancer. This is spirulina. I put one tablespoon of spirulina in water. That's it for that one. And this is just filtered, remineralized water in a copper cup, but you can have another mason jar. I would recommend bringing at least a half gallon, and if you can, bring a little more. My friend said he drinks a gallon in here, so it depends how long you stay in. You can stay in this thing for as long as you want, but you have to drink the appropriate amount of water while you're in there. That's the key. Really, there is no limit to how long you sit in this thing. The limit is how many fluids you have to drink. And that's the beautiful thing about having your own water filters because you're not rationing your water subconsciously. When you have to go to the store every time to buy bottled water, in your head you're limiting the amount of water you're drinking because you don't have access to it. So to have a filter available, like an Omic Organics water filter, 14 stage, remineralized, acid free, low TDS, then you're set. I'll make a completely new video on this, but this is my current setup. So this produces about 50 parts per million water. It depends on your tap water quality. I have it hooked up to the sink and I have this spout here. So I'll actually fill up a five gallon glass carboy. And that's for brewing beer. Those are available on Craigslist for about $30, 30 to 40, the max. Don't spend any more than that. And this machine is a Whirlpool commercial cooler. And this actually just hooks right onto there and it suctions up the water. It actually cleans it with ozone intermittently too. So this produces water that's just about 38 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's what I filled these with. And that's magical because water is more important than food. Study water, prioritize water. It is the key. It's not enough to say you're 71% water. Your blood plasma that the water becomes is 93% water. Your cells are 99% water. When infrared light, specifically near and mid infrared light, when those frequencies hit your blood plasma, that creates exclusion zone water, which is the fourth phase of water, and it actually has a negative charge to it, and it makes a battery of your blood, basically. It's not enough to take a lot of supplements and just drink spring water. Look into hard minerals. Look into Charles Mayo. What does hard water over 100 parts per million do to the spacesuit over time? It calcifies it. Calcifies the brain. Calcifies the organs, the tissues, the glands. That has the effect of pain, inflammation, which can be balanced to some degree by light. If you have neck pain, literally going in the sauna will help relax that muscle fatigue, muscle soreness, you're just chronic fatigue. Light therapy is to me the number one thing. If you're tired, if you can't hold a charge, good water, number one, change your water. Number, don't even buy MitoLife DHA, buy water first, a water filter, first priority. Second priority, MitoLife DHA to replenish the DHA that you've been draining in your retina from staring at screens all day and night and replenish the DHA in your eyes, in your brain, eventually in your tissues. If you take, I would recommend 2000 milligrams per day and this is not medical advice and build up your DHA stores in your tissues because the cell membranes are four to 8% DHA and that rains down into the mitochondrial membranes. And when it's in the mitochondrial membranes, that's where it grabs photons and it grabs the electrons and it uses those electrons 
called excitons to actually travel across the five cytochromes to the ATPase, a spinning rotor that runs at 100% efficiency and creates adenosine triphosphate, ATP, the energy molecule of the cell, available to play. And ATP is, is part of it, but ATP actually works by binding to water in our body and it changes the structure of water. That's what ATP does. So it's, it's very deep. The next thing is block artificial light from your eyes at night. Buy some blue blockers. Amazon, Uvex, orange construction glasses. They make big goofy ones with the black band on the top or you can get cooler looking ones that are a little thinner. Very much a priority to get your melatonin on point because if you're not producing melatonin because you're telling your body it's noon when it's 11 p.m. or midnight or 1 a.m., then one, you're headed towards degenerative diseases, but mainly you're draining the DHA in your retina, which each photoreceptor, a lot of them have double DHA molecules. They're absolutely just packed with DHA. And those photoreceptors are actually pointed inward funny enough, towards the pituitary and the hypothalamus and the pineal gland, because that's where the light reaches us. When we look towards the sun, when we get these light therapy practices, which by the way, sitting by a fire, getting infrared light in your eyes, getting ultraviolet light in your eyes in a balanced way, taking off those sunglasses, that's what heals our eyes that's what heals our soul because the light is not just physical stuff what's the halo that we see in all the ancient paintings what's that glow that halo look look at look at the old paintings of the saints of the 12 apostles and their heads lit up like a christmas tree and it says halo what does that mean that means that their brains lit up with light it means that they're holding on to biophotons and they're releasing extreme low frequency ultraviolet light and it's glowing. And when you walk into a room and you turn a lot of heads, everyone looks at you. That's the glow. That's what we're after. We're going to light up the world with that. Thanks for joining me. This is Matt with Mita Life and Divine Superconductor. Stay supercharged. For 10% off, use the code MITOLIFE. Enjoy your new fire infrared sauna. Oh, and bring in some essential oils too. Peppermint is really good. And I'll do future videos on gua sha. Get a spoon, like a jade spoon, any kind of natural material spoon, and start scraping the goop out of your tissues. And it's really good to do this while the pores are open.